Good morning, students. Today we will have revision class on uh, modal and auxiliary verbs. Okay, so we all know that uh, practice makes a man perfect, right? So the more we all will practice, the more we all will learn. So today, first, uh, I want all of you to open your study material where you will find a worksheet where uh, three exercises are given to you. I know you all have gone through the chapter very well. So if anyone is having any doubt anywhere, need to go through the chapter once again. Okay, then you need to open the study material where you will find three, uh, one worksheet where you will find three exercises. And first you need to do that and then you need to come back here uh, because we are going to have a discussion on the exercises. So you need to pause the video right here and to do the work first then you need to come back here okay i hope you all will do that so now on the exercise uh, one part we were asked to turn uh, some statements into questions by using the auxiliary do auxiliary verb do so the first question was kavita danced kavita danced beautifully so we need to change this statement into question one without changing its meaning so how will we do this first you need we need to understand the tense of the sentence here it is said kavita danced means it's past tense so we will be using the past form of the verb do so the answer uh, will be like did kavita dance beautifully the answer comes yes she did so the question will be did kavita dance beautifully why uh, have we used did because the statement was uh, the statement itself was in past tense simple past tense that's why we have used did here next question was next statement was bina works in a large organization bina works in a large organization now the sentence is in which tense before turning the sentence statement into question, we need to understand uh, its tense first. So, here we find it in simple present tense. So, and Bina is third person, singular number. So, obviously, it will be does Bina work in a large organization, right? Number three, I really find this interesting. Okay, I really find this interesting again we find it the sentence in a simple present tense so and as the subject is i that is first person so it i will be turned into you then the question will be do you really find this interesting the answer will be yes i really find this interesting now next one they took the last flight they took the last flight to mumbai so took a simple past the question will be did they take well, if you do if you make the auxiliary verb in past tense i hope you all know this but still for the sake of saying i'm saying so uh, as the auxiliary verb is turned into simple past so the main verb will remain in present form did they take the last flight to mumbai and then number five in 1930, Gandhiji laid the Dandi march to protest against the salt tax. So, here, verb is in laid, means it's simple past. So, here the question will be, did Gandhiji, laid, uh, did Gandhiji lead the Dandi march in 1930 to protest against the salt tax? As I have turned the auxiliary verb into simple past the beginning of the sentence the main verb lead has been turned into lead okay now in exercise 2 we were asked uh, to we were given uh, some sentences with some blanks and we were asked to fill in the blanks using appropriate primary auxiliary verbs and we need to mention their function also so the first uh, blank was dash he know how difficult the taste is Obviously, he know the main verb is in, it doesn't contain S along with this and we need to use the primary auxiliary verb do over there. 
and the then the blank will be filled up with does and it it is used to form a question number 2 dash you decided that you want to be a doctor so you decided verb is in past form so we need to use here present perfect tense and then we will be using have so have you decided that you want to be a doctor and it is used in order to form present perfect tense the auxiliary verb have has been used over here to form the present perfect tense then number 3 she speaks germany fluently and dash been to germany many times See, it's her, she speaks Germany fluently. That means she must have been there. Uh, she has must visited that place. So, obviously, it will be has been to Germany many times. Again, it is used to form the present perfect tense. Then number four. Cricket dash often played in the street of Mumbai. Cricket is often played in the streets of Mumbai. And it is... Is played means it's passive form. So, so to form the passive uh, sentence, is is used over here. Then comes number six. He dash appear innocent, though he was accused for murder. It will be did. He did appear innocent, though he was accused for murder. So, in order to emphasize on the fact that he was a uh, he he did some crime so we use we we can use deed over here and then number seven dash we know she was so cunning we would have been more careful so here means we do not know the fact so had we known she was so cunning we would have been more careful so we will be using had over here and had is used in order to make it past perfect tense then comes number 8. Renu dash washing the dishes when the bell rang. So, Renu was washing the dishes when the bell rang. So, it's past continuous. And in order to make the past continuous tense, in order to establish that, here we have used was. Then number 9. Dash you decided which company, uh, dash you decided which company you want to join. That means again the, like the second one, have you decided which company do you uh, you want to join? So again to form the present perfect, we can use have here. And the last one, dash Tina ever given you piano lessons? So has. Has Tina ever given you piano lessons? Again to form the present perfect tense, we can use has here. Then comes uh, exercise 3 where we were given uh, some sentences and we were asked to form negatives and interrogatives form from the, those sentences and we need to frame short answer for each question uh, which we will be forming, right? Which we have formed, we need to present its answer also. So the first thing was we shall go for trekking. We shall go for trekking. So, if we need to make it uh, interrogative, what will it be? As shall is already present uh, there on that particular sentence, we need not to take help of the do verb. So, shall will come at the beginning of the sentence. So, shall we go for trekking? And we were asked to frame a short answer for the question. The answer may be yes, we shall. And we were also asked to form a negative sentence, which can be, we shall not go for tracking, right? Then number two, uh, father baked a delicious cake for Tippi's birthday. Okay, father baked a delicious, uh, delicious cake for Tippi's birthday. So the baked means simple past. So did father bake a delicious cake for Tippi's birthday? The answer will be yes, he did. And the negative sentence will be, Father did not bake a delicious cake for Tippi's birthday. Then comes number three. The children will be delighted. The children will be. So, will will come at the very beginning of the sentence. Will the children be delighted? 
the answer short answer which we uh, can frame it can be yes they will and negative form sentence we can form the children won't be delighted or will not be delighted then number four a storm clouds were gathering on the horizon okay so the sentence uh, can be interrogative by uh, forming uh, by placing where at the very beginning of the sentence that where storm clouds gathering on the horizon the answer can be yes they were and negative sentence can be storm clouds were not gathering on the horizon then comes number five and the set uh, original statement was everybody must stand in the queue now the must is already there so must will come at the very beginning of the sentence which will be must everybody stand in the queue yes they must that is the short answer and the negative sentence can be everybody must not stand in the queue then comes number six renu has made several new year resolutions okay so has will come at the very beginning of the sentence and it will be has renu made several new year resolutions short answer can be yes she has here has is used in order to avoid repetition as well as it is uh, we are asked to form short answer okay now negative sentence can be renu hasn't made several new year resolutions then comes number 7 i will the original statement is i will send you an email question answer or interrogative sentence can be will i send you an email short answer can be yes you will a negative sentence will be i won't send you an email okay and then last one you should meet ravi question can be should i or should you meet ravi answer can be yes i should or yes you should and negative sentence can be i should not meet ravi or you should not meet ravi so these are the very uh, uh, simple ones and we need to keep on practicing more and more so today we have uh, done three exercises and we need to practice more on our next class we will be practicing some more examples more exercises on uh, modal and auxiliary so by this time you all should read the chapter uh, repeatedly again and again and if you face any kind of problem you should uh, inform me by uh, through your comments right so and one more thing that no one should miss to do the exercises when i am asking you all to open the study material part where you will find your work uh, means your work to do because from our works only we learn something yes so we need to do some practices over there then you need to take this discussion seriously then you need to if you i know some of you have done all the answers wonderfully some of you have uh, probably perhaps uh, can uh, make uh, mistakes okay one or two that you need to rectify right now and then you should keep on reading and reading the chapters so uh, this much for today i want all of you to stay fit healthy and keep on doing your works thank you